Today for our warm up, we're going to begin with two hands and we're going to do some circles. I don't mind which way you begin. When you've done about five, go the other way. Three, five. Clasp your fingers together, interlace those fingers for some roller coasters. And go back the other way. Give him a shake. And you're ready to write. So check that you've got your book ready, a sharp pencil, and you're sitting in your own chair. Today we are learning to write the lowercase letters O, E, and C. You'll know you've done a great job today if you have neat letters of a consistent size, which means they all use the lines to say the same size. I'm also hoping that you're starting to notice that you're paying a bit more attention to your writing and so when you look back in your book, your writing has improved. We're going to get warmed up with a racing, looping, E-shaped pattern today. I want you to start in the middle of your two dotted lines. So watch where my pen goes. I'm going to loop around and down to the bottom line and around and around and around. I'm going to do four loops and then leave a space. So I don't need to put my finger there, especially when I'm in stage one. I can just use my eyes to make sure there's a a letter or two's space in between and then I can start my pattern again. Three, four and finish. This can get a bit tricky because it's a little bit harder to move your hand across the page when you don't get a break lifting up your pencil but do the best that you can. Keep going all the way to the end of the line. In our last video, you'll remember that we've been doing our anti-clockwise letters. And there are three left for us to focus on. Lowercase O, E, and C. Doesn't matter which order we do them in, because they're all really similar. If you can do an O, you can also do a C and very easily by adding on, do an E. Let's get started. We're going to start with the letter O. The letter O is not a circle. It is the same pointy oval shape that we've been practicing in our last two videos. So I start in the same position, a little bit over to the right, my pen goes anti-clockwise around and comes back up to finish at the beginning. It is really important that my pencil finishes where it started for this letter, otherwise you're going to end up with some of our other variations that we're looking at today. And people will be a bit confused, won't be able to read your writing. Keep going with that pointy oval all the way to the end of the line. Now for your next row, you've only got half as much work to do. I think you can guess that we're going to be doing the letter C. Now, all my pointy oval letters so far have begun on the line. For my letter C, I want to start a little bit further down, but not much. I'm going to start just below the line and then go around and up. Very important, oops, very important that you start at the top and hook at the bottom. 
That will be important later on as you start to join your letters in stage two. Keep going to the end of the line. Remember you can pause if you're still going with your letter C's. Otherwise, let's join in to do our final anti-clockwise letter, the letter E. Now I'm going to actually begin with the C's so you can see that it's quite similar, especially because a lot of people make the really common error of starting in the wrong place. So you would know we started our letter C at the top. The letter E needs to start pretty close to the top too. So here I am going to begin in the middle and go to the top. I want to go in that direction. So I start in the middle and go up and down to finish. Start in the middle, up, then down to finish. Middle, up, down. Middle, up and around. It's so important, and I'm going to do one now to show you. I'll pick a different colour so it's nice and clear. It's so important that you don't begin at the bottom like this. You'll end up with a really unusually shaped E and you'll never be able to join to it. So these bottom starting letters are out. Let's watch again. We want to begin in the middle, up to the top, down to the bottom. In the middle, up to the top, down to the bottom. Keep going to the end of the line. Let's get ready to use all of those letters now with three short words. We're going to write cool orange egg. Starting a new line, beginning with cool. Beginning with that C. Into our O's, remembering we start up on that top line, around to the bottom line. Check that you're using your lines to make that consistent shape. Then a letter we haven't focused on yet, the letter L, downstroke tall letter. Back to our letter O, starting on the top line and around. Letter R, down and hook. Another anti-clockwise A, up to the line and down. An N, tunnel letter. Anti-clockwise G, around, up, down to the bottom line and hook, and an E. Let's start in the middle of our two dotted lines as so we go up, down, and finish. Cool orange eggs, starting in the middle, up to the top, down to the bottom. The letter G, looking at that pointy oval shape, down to the black solid line at the bottom. Same again. And finishing with a letter S. Because we wouldn't want just one cool orange egg. Mm. 
Now remember, pause the video anytime you need. But if you've finished that, you're ready to grab a different coloured pencil and start looking for some of the best work that you've done today. I was really happy with my letter A down here in orange. I think I've remembered that pointy oval shape and that nice little wedge at the bottom there. This E is quite nice, nice and slim, that E. Wouldn't take up too much room on my page. Now, I feel like some of these Cs get a little bit congested on that line, a little bit close together, but I think the spaces I've left between my letter O's look quite good. And I'm happy with my first fluency pattern. And thanks for watching. Remember if you miss any of the previous videos or you're still not sure about anti-clockwise letters, you can always go back and do them again, whether it be at school or at home. If you have a little bit more time now in your lesson, let's go on to a caterpillar shape. Here we are and ready for a picture. We are making a caterpillar and it won't be much of a surprise to you that we're going to use the letter C. So here's my first letter C. Now I want absolutely no finger spaces at all. I need to make each of my letter C's touch the one before it, but not completely cross over the top, just touching at the sides. Now, I don't have lines on this screen, but I think if I did, it would be a little bit easier for me to keep that nice, straight, consistent size. But I'm doing the best that I can to look and pay attention to what I'm doing. Now, you could do as many of these letter C's as you like, or as you have time for. But once your teacher is saying it's time to pack up, you're going to have to give your poor caterpillar a head. So we're going to finish with a letter O. There we go. And you'll need some eyes and a nose, a lovely smile, pop on some antenna. And if you have time, some tiny feet. I bet now you wish you didn't too, do too many letter C's. And you're done. If you have a little bit more time, you could give your caterpillar a friend. And if you are feeling particularly clever, you might start to get ready for some future videos and have a go at starting, whoops, let's try that again, at starting with your letter O, but then working in a clockwise direction to do some backward Cs. And you'll end up with a caterpillar who is facing the other way. I'll make this one a short one. There you go. Have fun.